So, thank you for uh, last night at Archer Live. That was an absolute oh, fucking blast. Thanks for coming. Yeah, super fun. How far to end the bottle of Maker's Mark did you make it? We didn't really do a good job. We, we, we should have been more driven. I think we left about a quarter of the bottle line, so we failed. So that was a big fail in our part. Yeah. So, the season's going to be a departure, we're hearing. It and will be, but we've been, we've been having a series of departures, yes. by, which has been fun for us, and um, I think mostly fun for Adam Reed, who writes the show, and I think wants to keep himself entertained, you know? Yeah, so we don't, I mean, I'm sure the guys are told, we, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. We're going to find out what everybody else does when we work out, which will be cool. You have a movie coming out, correct? I just directed a movie, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just finished it, um, uh, I guess I just finished photography in a couple of days. It's been about four weeks and, and I am in the middle of it right now. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm not nervous, no, no. Um, I was nervous before I went into photography because, you know, I shot a feature in seven days. Um, yeah, 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 yes, exactly. Um, and it was a massive undertaking with a lot of people behind me and I had a very specific vision and I, you know, I think it's hard to be precious and delicate with your vision when you're also like bracing it into the block, but uh, no, it's beautiful. It turned out beautifully and the photography is gorgeous and um, I got a really cool band to give you music for the movie and it's going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, and I'm really proud of it. And not like I'm so great, but just um, I had a lot of really talented people come together and work really hard to make a movie and product and all that work is up on the screen. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's great. It's great. I, I, love, I love directing. It's definitely what I want to do for the rest Yeah, super. You did a great job at the E3 press conference for Ubisoft. Thank you. Are you planning to go back next year or do it again? Or? Uh, you know, I don't know. Like that was my fifth. That was my fifth presser, and um, they're always super fun. I, I, I really love going. I mean, when they first asked me, you know, I, I love video games, and so like it was just an awesome opportunity to kind of be more of a part of that world. And it also gives me this, um, this secondary opportunity to be on the floor and get to see all the stuff before a lot of other people, and to get to play a lot of shit that even people who are adding to me don't get to play. And I love that. I mean, it's really fun for me. Um, I don't know if I'll get to, I'll, I'll get to do it next year. I'll, I'll be available to do it next year. Um, but it, you know, that look for me that week is a delight. Like it's, it's delightful, and the, the the thing I regret most is not having enough time. Like I'd love to be able to be on the floor all day, every day. And I every year I'm like this year, and then I get like two hours and I'm running around like a crazy person, and then I'm crying because I didn't get to play all the stuff I wanted to play. But yeah, if I can go back again, of course. It's super, it's super cool to tell to get to be the person to tell people about their favorite properties. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, like when when we were, and I think when we did Rip Six Siege, and I I played so much Rip Six Vegas. Like, I think I cried a little bit. Like, I was really excited <laughs> about that game. So yeah, I mean, I feel the same way everybody else feels. You know, stoked. Right on. Yeah. So I know you can't tell us anything about season eight, but at the end of season seven, how would how would Lana respond to Archer after her? Um, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Look, they obviously love each other. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know if Lana would say yes to Archer. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's kind of a shit show. And she knows that about him, you know? And it's not like she's, it's not like she, he's going to, like, you know, kind of horn swoggle or something. She's going to find out later as a douche. She already knows that. Um, and, uh, and I think she, I mean, but on the other hand, the guy, um, at least two occasions, has given up his life for hers. So, um, um, you know, he, he's definitely thinking that he loves her. Uh, I, I think that they should co-parent and live in separate houses because I think that guy uh, would just be intolerable on a daily basis and the sound of him chewing would make her want to strangle him with a giant man hands. You mentioned co-parenting. Do you know what the what season 8 has in store for Abigene's? I do not. I really do not. I know everybody thinks we're being secretive. We have not seen one script. We haven't seen the, the teaser we're going to play today. Um, I know a tiny, tiny little bit because I recorded something for the trailer, but I haven't seen it. I haven't even seen a script for the entire thing. Um, it's a mystery to all of us. It's probably a mystery to Adam. Probably we can't say anything because he doesn't fucking know what he's doing. But um, I believe in him implicitly. Like I, I, He's a genius, and I feel like whatever he gives us is going to be amazing. Like The one thing he's proven over seven seasons is he has a broken mind. A brilliant and complex mind, and you know, we just say our lives. You know. What's your favorite from the season? It's been on forever. What's your favorite? I have to tell you, 
this season was pretty spectacular, the, the Vegas Agency season. Um, but it, but uh, a little, Archer Vice was really controversial, but I think if you go back and look at that, it's, it's a perfect season of television. It was good. And I thought it was great. And I, I always feel like it's better to have half of them love you and half of them hate you than have everybody feel like, yeah, that was all right. You know what I mean? It's about the characters. Yeah, it is about the characters. In any context, it's about the characters. You know what I mean? It's Even when you guys were stuck in an elevator? Where... Yeah. That was the episode we did last night. Yeah. yeah. Are we really stuck in an yeah, uh, and it works. No, right? it, it's fun. It like. works. Yeah, <laughs> people love those characters and they love their relationships. And I think um, what's great about it is because they they are so fun together in any environment, they're interesting. And I mean, when you go back and think about it, first of all, the Archer Vice season was the season that got us our first Emmy nomination, even though everybody was saying that they hated it and what happened in the show was ruined. And um, and when you pitch it out, um, the characters from Archer leave espionage and go on the road to become coke dealers. It's a pretty fucking great idea. I mean, I don't know. And Pam, it turns all of the cocaine into like cupcake frosting. She and, loses yeah, and weight. loses a lot of weight and turns into a psycho, more of a psychopath. I mean, they, to me, it was just, it was genius. Like so many magical things happened in that season. So, And then this past season is my second favorite season. We have Pat and Oswald. And, when you, you finish know, recording, beautiful. you ever walk out just feeling like a badass? Like after pretending to be Lana for a while? Like, you, well, um, <laughs> No, yes. I don't know. I mean, I love the show. I love the show. The guy, I record it at a sound studio that's relatively close to where I live, and um, I've been working with the same sound engineer for seven seasons now. Um, so in between all of the lines, I'm essentially just um, in, like berating and insulting him. So um, I walk out feeling like a badass if I can get I a couple it. of like it. like good like lower like lower abdomen ab 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 punches if I can like really slam him. We just have like we literally are like um, like the characters in the first season of Moonlighting just fucking with each other the whole time. So, yeah. I don't feel like a badass leaving either because I typically uh, look like shit haven't showered. Um, so yeah, I don't I definitely look like Lana when I'm doing when I'm voicing Lana. I look like James Harden just shout shaved. His beard, so um, yeah, so <laughs> not exactly. Yeah, I'll ask. Um as you said yourself, there, there have been several radical departures over the course of Archer. If you had your choice of what direction to take the show next, what, where would you take it? Like, what would you like to see happen to the gang? I, I think it'd be cool to, to have them go to Paris and uh, you know, and get back into, into, into espionage or try to work. I always pitched them trying to work their way back in from the cold. You know what I mean? Trying to get back on the good side of the government by doing kind of like you know, off book of like black missions that are probably completely like not kosher, not sanction and just make things worse. Um, but also then uh, Archer could reunite with uh, Fongwas, you know, the yelled Pele of Anal. And um, I think that would be really funny. I mean, a little, little threesome. And may, or maybe he reunites with Fongwas and then she hooks up with Lana and and, uh, and then his heart is doubly broken, which would be pretty great. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a great afternoon.